Darren, congratulations. How was that? Yeah, that felt really good, you know. We just kept up there and kept composed and... Again, he, he made a couple of mistakes, but every time he made a mistake, I punished it, and that's what I've been doing lately. But apart from doing that, I've been actually, I played really well tonight, you know, and I'm really pleased with myself. So the, the performance inside you has definitely helped. How is that going to, how are you going to improve as well, even more for Michael Van Gogh? Well, or if that, it is Michael Van Gogh, you never know, but you know, like I said, I'll just do what I do. I'll enjoy my Christmas with my granddaughter, it's her first Christmas, and then after them two hours, then it's head on, you know, I mean. You know, Michael Van Gogh don't hold my destiny, I do, do you know what I mean? So, if I can play like that, you know, I'll, I'll give him another run for his money, but I could play better, because I'm now starting to get used to it. Well, you'd be sort of taking what you did from the Players' Championship, you know, you were 6-0 up, learning from that, and go, right... Yeah, is, yeah, definitely, if I'd have played like that, after being 6-0 up, I, I would have destroyed Michael. You know, so if I get in that position again, I've got to keep myself clear-minded and, and just try and, you know, put him in the ground, no matter how good he is. When, when you get in front of someone, you, you have to destroy them. If you haven't got that mentality, you might as well not be here. And finally, just going on to put, uh, about Christmas, you're going to spend it with your granddaughter. Yep. And what, what else have you got planned? Much practice? Um, well, just do my normal. Um, that's like money and Tuesday. I got bored. I fit the kitchen for someone, do you know what I mean? Just, uh, I, I get bored. And that takes my mind off the darts now, you know? So that's why I'm the demolition man. I just smash things up and put them back together again. So I might lay a few slabs over Christmas. <laughs> we don't know yet, do you know what I mean? Great, thank you. Thank you. And Darren, would you class that performance as the performance of your career so far? On the on the TV, yes, 100%. Not on the floor, no. I, I've played a lot better than that on the floor. I've averaged 120, 125. Do you know what I mean? Um, you know, I, you know. the highlight of my career was beating Phil 1-6-0, and he was averaging 122 in the fifth leg, and I was 4-0 up. You know, and that, at the time, was beating the world record average. So I know inside me, you know, I don't fear anyone. You know, I'll just get up there throwing my darts and don't care. And if I get in front, I'll grip my teeth and bite their ankles. And that's what you have to do in this game. You cannot give up and show no fear to these big players. You have to show them you want it. Do you know what I mean? And that's what I do. And you're starting to transfer, you like to say, your floor form. You're starting to transfer that now on the TV stage. Why do you think that is? It's more experience? Yeah, definitely more experience. But, I'm, I've, you know, I watch people, what they do, how they control themselves, and I try, you know, you're not going to get up there unless you do what the successful people do. So I try, or, you know, I'm, I'm not silly, I'm getting old now, and I watch what they do, and then I try and replicate in my own way, you know, and I watch them on there, and they just keep full control of themselves, and that's what I'm trying to do now, and that's paying off. And you reached the quarterfinals at the World Championships in 2007, but would you say you're a better player now? Yeah, yeah a lot better player now, 100%. Yeah, Thanks, yeah definitely.